Hello bookish friends, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we are starting another hobby vlog. So in this hobby vlog, it's going to be a fun easy cozy one because we are going to do some bookish coloring i have a bunch of different really cute and cozy coloring books here so what started this whole bookish coloring things were these two coloring books right here by julie holmes lauscher i think is how you pronounce it i think she's on instagram hold on that's how i found these coloring books is i saw her posting them on instagram and i was like <gasps> I need those. So her Instagram is oh hey dot it's Julie, which I will leave her below in the description box. She made these two coloring books. The first one is Coffee Icy Book Spicy. So this is like a R rated coloring book, but like there's really cute ones in here. Like obviously that's a pair of headphones. I gotta look and see what I show you because there's some spicy little like, things in here. But like this one's really cute. It says billionaire, age gap, one bed, small town. So they're just like really simple bookish, oops. <laughs> bookish coloring pages and i like that they're one-sided so if you had one that you really liked you could frame it if you wanted to um so i have this one which was definitely her first one then this is the one that i originally saw and it didn't come out until i don't even remember some certain date but this is the book called in my coloring era and it's a bookish coloring book this one's much smaller but again really cute simple coloring pages this one says all i need is books and coffee this one says like one more chapter in my audiobook era that one's really cute in my bookish era there's just a bunch of really cute simple coloring pages in here that i definitely want to color and then one of my favorite booktubers to watch and like kind of like cozy people to watch is Haley in bookland and she was just talking about how she likes to do bookish coloring and she swears by these creative haven coloring books this one is home sweet home i also got the gnome sweet gnome because i love gnome she didn't have this one but she, i saw that from the same company i was like oh sweet and then she said she really liked this one the simple pleasures and this is the cottage core lifestyle these ones are a little more intense but i still think they'll be really fun and really cute and really cozy so this is just like a little picnic this is the one that's on the cover it's just a girl in a little field some cats in a garden look at this little girl on her bike by a tree so these ones are a little more intense look at this gnome sweet gnome one I don't know about you, but I absolutely love gnomes. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I need that. Like, look at those little cuties camping. These are like a little, had a little festival carnival thing. So cute. And then this one is Home Sweet Home. It's just like a bunch of cute, like cozy home images. Like, look at this little bathtub. Oh, like this is my dream house. Like a little pond out front. I can sit on my rocking chair and get some reading done. Have my morning coffee. A little like sewing room. Little outdoor space. So cute with a little fireplace. So have those ones. And then the last one I have is actually what probably the one I'm most excited for. Actually, no, that's not true. I'm really excited for all of these. But this one's just a little bit different than the other ones. I bought this coloring book at a local indie bookstore near me. And this is the... Small Victories, a coloring book of little wins and miniature masterpieces by Johanna Basford, I think. Really freaking cute. And I like this one. Let me get a good page. Like, look at how pretty this little illustration is. But then they also have pages with, like, really small illustrations on it. So it's not just, like, one page pictures. There's one page that stuck out to me when I first did this. I like this one, too. Like, look at the cute little cozy houses and then all these tiny little floral designs you can color. This one just has a lot of, like, smaller stuff, like insects little mandalas and i like this one because if there's an image that really speaks to me like obviously i'm in my mushroom era if you haven't noticed and like this one in particular i could color this and then put it in a cute little frame and put it on my bookshelf because it's tiny enough where it's not going to take up that much space but it's also like so cute they have all these really little ones and it's not like full page illustrations, but there is also like full page illustrations. So I'm going to pick a couple of pages to color with. I have a couple different mediums to color with. I have a thing of color pencils. I have some markers. I have some like thicker markers. These are double ended so you can like hand letter with them. And then I have some smaller paper mate ones. These ones are the Mondo Llama. They're 0.4 millimeters. I just have a mixture of random markers in here. 
And then I also have in my case here my Crayola Super Tips, which I have the hundred. I got the hundred pack. Oh, I also have some Sharpies back here and some more Zebra Mild Liners back here. So I organize mine by color because I'm a freak and like to. So I have this little organizer here. But let's see. Let's pick out what I'm gonna color first and. I'm gonna start with something easy. Those like Creative Haven ones are definitely a lot more intense. I kind of want to do one of these in one of these coloring books. I don't want to do something really easy. Let's do this one. All I need is books and coffee because that is the story of my life. So we're gonna color that. I'm gonna use, I think, my Crayola Super Tips because this is a bigger coloring. I think colored pencil would be way too tiny for it. So we're gonna color this one. And while I color, we're gonna kind of chat a little bit. I have been watching a lot of Haley and Bookland's videos and just like absolutely loving everything she does and just like, how she talks about mental health and issues and stuff like that. And honestly, she just, I don't know what it is about her. I just love her so much. And she just is such a cozy human being. And I think part of the reason why I'm liking her so much is because I'm kind of going through similar situations where my medicines just seem to be, here, let me, my medication seem to just be like really messed up. And I think it's like mostly hormonal. Actually, that's probably not the best angle. Sorry, right, trying to get the camera angle right. I've just been feeling really like, down about myself and a lot of it is definitely hormonal and when my time is coming and my time is nearing each month i go through like a mental fucking breakdown of just like feeling like i'm really fat and i need to lose weight and i feel like i'm going bonkers and i don't feel like that for the rest of the other parts of the month it's literally just like the couple days leading up to my period and right now i've been getting my period like two weeks before i'm supposed to because i'm on birth control and it's just really frustrating because it's like all of a sudden i'm feeling like this and i feel like i'm losing my mind and then i realize oh i'm getting my period and it's like well i wasn't supposed to get it for another two weeks like why am i getting it earlier and it just throws my whole like life off because i just feel like shitty I feel tired, I feel so like unmotivated to do anything. And I like watching Haley in Bookland because she talks about how she goes through that thing, like goes through those phases too. And when she is feeling like that, she just takes a step back. She kind of does anything that she wants to. So if she wants to sit on the couch for six hours and scroll on her phone, she lets herself. But she tries to be a little more intentional with what she's doing, AKA like doing cozy hobbies like bookish coloring or crocheting or anything really. And I have realized that that is definitely what I need to do. Like when I'm feeling like this, I need to put my freaking phone away, dive into a hobby or dive into a book and get my mind off of me feeling like a psycho. It really has helped. And the reason I know it's helped is because I'm also currently filming a reading vlog where I'm reading 100 pages per day for seven days. And I've already finished one whole book. I finished The Clinic by Kate Quinn, which was so freaking good but we'll talk about that in a second. And I read, I finished the novella um, for the Finley Donovan series, Veronica Ruiz Breaks the Bank. I read like 50 pages before I even started this vlog, but I actually finished that book this morning. Honestly, I already feel so much better. I also feel so much better because I know why I'm feeling that way now. Like up until I actually start, you know, doing what you do when you have your period, I don't know why I feel that way. And then once I get my period, I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And then all these intrusive, crazy thoughts seem to kind of go away. Been doing a lot better, trying to really figure out my health, which is why if you watch the reading vlog that I posted, I was talking about how I started running and I did my first run today, which is March 4th when I'm filming this. Honestly, even though it's only been one day so far, I already feel so much better because I know I'm taking the right steps to do what's best for my body and do something for myself that I know is gonna make me feel better. Dealing with that, but also just dealing with seasonal depression. I live in upstate New York, if you didn't know, and honestly, the this weather is just so shitty. It has been so cold, so dreary, so gray, and I am just so ready for warm weather. I am a warm weather girly through and through. I love to be outside. Louie loves to be outside. And when he can be outside all day, all night, like when I come home from work during the summer and spring, I'm outside from the second I get home to the second it gets dark out. And when Louie does that, he's much more calm and like a lot less energized, I guess is the right word. And when he's like that, I feel better because then I'm like, oh my God, like 
he bugs me when he's like, okay, I wanna go do this, I wanna go do this, I wanna be outside, I wanna do this. And when he can be outside all day, it just does wonders for my brain because I'm like, okay, he's not stuck inside, he's not gonna torment me when I'm ready to go to sleep and relax for the night. He's not gonna be ready to go because he's been stuck inside all day. The summer is just better for me mentally and I literally am counting down the days until I can freaking sit outside and read and not be stuck inside my damn house. But I'm starting to feel so much better. This morning I finished two books and I was like, oh, I should start my third book, which I am starting Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. But I was like, you know what, Lexi? Like, you've been having a rough weekend. Like, just give yourself some time to relax and maybe do some coloring if you wanted to. I am coloring and I feel so much better already. It's crazy what doing like little things like this can do for your mental health. Like, isn't it insane that something little like coloring a freaking thing that says, oops, that's ugly, that says all you need is coffee and books, like makes you feel so much better. Like, that just blows my mind that that's how little things work on my brain. All that to say, I am so excited to be starting this vlog because I think Bookish coloring is gonna be great for my brain and great for my mental health, and I'm gonna feel so much better as I'm doing this. And I can't wait to do more of the intricate ones because those look so fun, even though they look so intimidating and scary. And I'm already hating the way this is coming out, but it's fine. But yeah, I am going to stop talking now because that was an 11 minute clip and I don't even know what I just talked about. I like talking about this stuff from time to time because I don't want people to think that everybody's life is perfect. Obviously when I'm going through those mental bouts where I just feel insane and crazy, I'm not picking up the camera and saying, oh my god, I I'm waiting until I feel better and picking up the camera then. Hobbies have really been so much fun for me lately. If you haven't watched any of my hobby vlogs, check out the hobby vlog playlist. So far I've played with clay and I've done friendship bracelets and then this is obviously my next hobby which I finished that coloring and I absolutely hate the way it came out, but also kind of cute, I don't know. The next one I'm gonna do is a paint by number, which is gonna be an intense one. I'm hoping to get it up in April and start it like now because it's an intense paint by, color, paint by number. Another thing I like take from this, like I had so much fun doing that even though it doesn't look great. But another thing that Haley and Bookland really talks about is like stop worrying about perfectionism and doing things so perfectly when you're really just doing it to escape the craziness of the world. Sitting here and if it's not completely in the lines, it doesn't matter because it's really for your eyes only. And I think it's extremely important to remember that because even if you don't think you're good at coloring or you don't think you're good at painting or playing with clay or anything, it's like just do it if it makes you feel better and you have fun doing it. Like it really does not matter what things look like in the end. As long as you're having fun and you're thoroughly enjoying it, like. It's almost like therapy to me. Like this is therapeutic for me to be coloring this and not worrying about like my daily life and having to work and all this crazy shit. So just do it. Take it from somebody like me who was so like hesitant to start any kind of hobby because she was scared that things weren't gonna look perfect and things were gonna be ugly. It doesn't matter. Just do it because you wanna do it and do it because you mentally will feel better after. I'm gonna stop talking now because that was such a long clip. I'm gonna hate myself when I go to edit this. I'm gonna continue getting some coloring done and then I'll be back at some point. Just did a little bit of coloring. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a break because I'm feeling sleepy. I have to work late tonight, so I need to like nap if I need to nap. I painted this pretty little mushy thing. How cute. I did some of the smaller ones on here just to get a feel. It's been years since I've colored. I did a couple on here just to kind of test out a couple different like mediums and color ways. And then I did this little butterfly. Obviously you saw I did this, the all I need is books and coffee. And this one, I started this little heart thing and then I was like, wait, okay, this is boring. So I didn't finish it. And then I haven't even touched the Creative Haven ones yet because I think I wanna get used to coloring and by saying used to coloring, like mixing colors and figuring out what colors look good together. I wanna figure all that out before I get into these. I just wanna get used to coloring a little bit more before I dive into like the trickier ones, but but that is the first day of this done. I'm gonna take a nap and it'll probably be back in a couple days. So I'll see you then. 
Hello friends. It has been a couple, uh, actually it's probably been about a week and a half maybe since you last saw me. I don't even know at this point. I am back to do some more bookish coloring and I feel like today I'm going to have better luck. Oh damn, I wanted to get a scrap piece of paper. I learned from last time that I definitely need like a scrap piece of paper to really test out like a color. Like I could use this yellow and think it's going to look exactly like this, but then when I actually start using it on paper, it looks completely different. So before I actually start coloring, I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper so I can test the colors before I use them. But I have a goal in mind because if you didn't know, I am doing a giveaway for my one year booktube anniversary. For all the details on how to enter are below in the description box. But I mentioned in one of my last videos, I don't even remember which one it was at this point, that I wanted to make it a mystery bookish box. Some of the stuff was going to be handmade by me and I think I want to draw a really cute like bookish picture for it and then frame it maybe. So I want to use probably one of these Creative Haven ones that has like an actual story line behind it. Oh, that could be cute. Oh, this one could be cute. It says living in my own fairy tale. I want to color one of these fully and then maybe include it in the giveaway. Have a cute little frame on it. And then I also might do a small little one from this, like a small little coloring and maybe find a really cute tiny little frame. I actually have my extra, my other phone tripod here. So I'm going to try to record it on my phone, like a little time lapse of me coloring. If I don't include it, don't be confused. Sometimes when I try to put iPhone clips in my videos, it just like has a black screen. Like for some reason the footage doesn't come through. So that's fun. But let me go grab my scrap piece of paper and then we'll come back and chat a little bit about the books I've been reading to make this a little more interesting. But I'm not gonna talk for that long, so I say, but we'll see. So I have my phone going on a time lapse. I got my scrap piece of paper. I got all my coloring materials, which I don't know if I'm gonna use many markers today. Oh, Louie, don't start with me. But um, while I start this, I figured I would just kind of chat with you guys about some of the books I've been reading lately because it's been an interesting reading month to say the least. It is now March 11th when I'm filming this section of this and this is maybe going to be the last portion. I don't know. It's been a weird reading month. I either love the book I'm reading or hate the book I'm reading and I have DNF two books so far this month which is totally fine. It is what it is. I feel like some people have a hard time DNFing books. And I used to have a hard time DNFing books, but then I realized that I don't like wasting my time reading shitty books or books that I'm just not into the genre maybe because I already have limited time to read as is. So why am I wasting that time? I noticed that when I'm reading a book I'm not fully into, I scroll a lot more because I'll read like a little bit and be like, okay, I'm so bored with this book, I can't go on. So then I'll just hop on my phone and freaking scroll for hours, which also is not good and not the vibe. So I've realized that by only reading books that I'm thoroughly invested in and truly care about what's going on in is the best way for me and the best thing for me mentally because then I'm not stuck scrolling on Instagram or TikTok all day feeling bad about myself. Anyways, I have DNF'd a decent amount of books this month and I feel like I either really love a book or I hate a book. <laughs> and honestly, you know what? That's totally okay. Reading is supposed to be super subjective to each person and depending on what you like. All right, I found two pictures that I like. I think I'm going to color this one because I'm kind of digging the vibes of this one a little bit more. So I'm going to put these away for now, but I may come back to that picture. Um, but I have realized that reading is super subjective and nobody's going to always love all the same books and that's totally fine like you're not supposed to love every single book that everybody else loves that's okay like that's part of the joy of reading is everybody has their own opinions right so i have gotten really good about dnfing books i just don't care about and i'm kind of happy i've gotten to that point because now i don't waste my time reading bad books okay let me mute the ztv I just finished my very first bookish coloring page. How freaking cute and cozy does this little room look. So, I'm gonna pull this out of here. And we're gonna see if we can find a cutie little gold frame for this. We'll see. If I put it in a frame and I end up not liking it, then we'll just 
I don't know, but I think that one came out really cute. I would love to have a little reading room that looked like that. Now that that one's done, I would like to find one in this small little book that I have. This is the Simple, what is it called? Oh, no, nope, not Simple. Small Victories by Johanna Basford. I got this at a local indie bookstore, so. I wanna try to find something tiny in this because I really wanna get a really cute, like, little oval frame. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Honestly, after coloring that, I feel great. That just really like let my mind wander and I didn't really have to think about much, which was kind of what I was hoping for. Oh my God, how cute would one of these little houses be? Like that little house, that could be cute. I'm gonna look and see what I can find. Let's color one more thing and then we will close out this vlog. I was gonna be done after that last one. Look at how cute this little thing came out. So hopefully, sorry about that. Um, I was gonna be done after the last one I just did, but I think I wanna do one more. I don't know if I'll be able to find a frame for this small of a little drawing, but look at how cute that came out. I might paint. I keep saying paint, god damn. I might draw, I might color this cute little teapot because you know, tea goes with reading. And I'm gonna color this, and then maybe when we get the frames, you can see what, um which one fits. We're gonna color this and then I'll come back and then we will really close out this vlog. Okay, I actually love how this came out. I left the border of the teapot simple, but I think it looks really cute. That looks like something you would see in like Italy. I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog and wrap up this coloring. You're not gonna see me getting frames for these because I don't want the giveaway prize to be completely spoiled. I gotta keep some things a surprise. Once I get some frames, I'll figure out which ones I want to put in the little giveaway box. I cannot wait to continue coloring in these coloring books because some of this stuff is so cute. Like, tell me this is not the cutest, coziest little like reading spot. Like, look at how cute that is. And I can't wait to keep coloring in these, especially these ones that are literally bookish related. This one is literally called Coffee Icy, Book Spicy, and then this one just says in my coloring era, so. I got all of these from Amazon, and then the only one I bought in store is this little small one, so I'm sure you can probably find it online somewhere, but I don't know. The Creative Haven ones are definitely like my favorite ones because they're the most detailed, but also like super cute and cozy, but if you enjoyed this hobby vlog, definitely let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you have any favorite coloring books that you like. Let me know so I can maybe grab them and color in those too. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you in my next hobby vlog, which, spoiler alert, I think it's gonna be a paint by number. I got this really pretty floral paint by number like probably a year ago and just have been too intimidated to do it. But now that I'm in my hobby era, I think it's time to tackle it. And it's either gonna go up in April or May because I think it's gonna take me a long time, but we shall see. So thank you for coloring with me, hanging out with me, listening to me rant about God knows what, mental health, enoughing books, all that crazy stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.